Okay everyone, so in this tutorial I'm gonna show you my overclocking settings for my RTX uh, 2060 to get over 31 megahertz per second using my overclocking settings in 2021. So we're gonna focus on this one. Alright, so the one I'm gonna use is from Asus. It's a dual GeForce RTX 2060. It's a 6 uh, gigabyte uh, GPU. Alright. And the one we're gonna focus on today is this one. So this is my RTX 2060. All right, so let's go and have a look on my overclocking settings to get 31 megahertz per second. Okay, everyone, so I just want to show you a preview what we can expect when applying my uh, overclocking settings for my RTX 2060. As you can see, I get 31.70 megahertz per second, and this is what my result will be in this video. So let's do this. So if you don't have MSI Afterburner, we're gonna go and download it right now. All you have to do is just open up a browser, go to google.com, search for MSI Afterburner. Go to this one, msi.com. And now go to this one, MSI Afterburner, download Afterburner. Just download this uh, software and install it. And after that, you should see this uh, MSI Afterburner icon. All right. Now we're going to open up MSI Afterburner. Click on Yes. Now we can see the MSI Afterburner. If you don't have the same layout, you can always go to Settings and go to User Interface. Go down to this one, User Interface Skinning Properties. Just yes, go down and choose this one, MSI Mystic Afterburner Skin by Dredrex Design. And you can also uh, do a skin scaling if you want to have a bigger layout or smaller like this. After that just click on Apply. And after that just click on OK. And now we should have the same layout as I do. Okay, so my computer doesn't like to screen record and mining at the same time, so we're gonna do it from my phone from now. Alright, so now we're gonna choose the GPU we want to overclock to get more megahertz per second. So right now I have this GPU, and to change this, I want to click on this arrow, uh, go to RTX 2060, and to close this, just click on the arrow one more time. Now we can see that we have GeForce RTX 2060, alright? Okay, so let's go and start up your mining software. I'm using T-Rex, so I'm gonna go to T-Rex. You can use whatever you like. Just start it up, like so. And now we can just open up uh, the MSI Afterburner, so you have it on the same screen, like so. Alright, so let's go and see what we get without the overclocking settings. Okay, so without any overclocking settings, my Asus RTX 2060 gets 28 megahertz per second. So let's go and add some overclocking settings and see how much we can get. All right, so the settings we're gonna add is uh, we're gonna leave core clock at zero. We're gonna go to memory clock and right here we're gonna add 700. So just click right here in this box and you will see this dot and after that just enter 700 after that just hit enter after that we want to lower uh, the power limit so in my case i cannot lower uh, less than 78 uh, but if you can you can do like 60 or something like that 65 but in my case the lowest i can get is 78 after that we're gonna go down to fan speed we need to check this one uh, if you want to remove out to fan speed and after that we can click on this box and I'm gonna add like 85. You can do your own experiment. You can start like with 100 and see how much you will get right here. Uh, I try to go below 70 at least. And after that when we have everything set up, we're gonna go and click on this one, this check mark. And this will apply the settings to your GPU. Let's go back to the mining and see what we will get. Okay, so now we have 29.36 megahertz per second. Uh, the temperature is 70. We have the power at 122 and fan speed at 85%. Let's see if we can increase this. 
now we got uh, 30.80 uh, megahertz per second we have 68 celsius all right so now we got 31.17 megahertz per second we have 67 degree celsius so i think this is uh, the highest we can get with these settings 31.17 megahertz but it's a uh, 3 megahertz per second increase for my car at least you may have less than 28 uh, to begin with, so then you will have a much greater uh, increase. Okay, and we also got 66 uh, Celsius for this card. If you want, you can increase it from 85 to 90, or if you have like 60, you can uh, go less. So just experiment with that. Okay, everyone, so I hope this uh, video helped you out. Please comment below on how much uh, megahertz you got from these overclocking settings. And also, if you liked this video, you can't miss my other videos because I have a lot of GPUs that I will make uh, overclocking settings with, alright? So if you have other uh, GPUs, subscribe and I will show you my other uh, GPU settings, alright? So have an awesome day, take care and bye.